so evidently they have the biggest beer can I've ever seen in my life here. It says Yeehaw Beer right there. You know what? I'm pretty sure King Kong up the road, that's probably the beer he drinks. Just kidding, he don't drink beer. He's like me. I guess that brewing company, the Yeehaw place is open. Uh, but yeah, I don't drink beer, but I was on the show y'all because that's the biggest beer can I've seen in my life. <laughs> You think the Flash would get drunk off of that? <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Y'all guys might not get that because it's a. Uh, if you watch the Flash, you might get it. But if you don't, then you probably you probably be like, what is he talking about, the Flash? But uh, yeah, it's an inside joke. <laughs> All right, there's Timberwood Grill. Shots 875 score. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. I always wanted to play with the pistol. So, yeah, I always wanted to play with the pistol stuff. Huh. Insert sound effects. I played with the, the shotgun. Um, rock. It was at Rockin'. I don't think they have it no more. But uh, I played there. And then I played, I think they had one at Hatfield McCoy, but they're all different ones. But this one's got a little bear and uh, Looks like tow mater, but it looks like one of them on cars. And they have one in Tennessee to shoot them up gallery, but I need to try it one time. I've tried it, but yeah, it was in Gatlinburg. I think I'm, I might have said pigeon forge, but oh, I didn't. Okay. You said Tennessee. Oh, see, my mom's confused. Mm -hmm. She said Gatlinburg, and I was, see, so I said it right. It's in Tennessee, it's in Gatlinburg, but it's five bucks for that one. But yeah, but this was cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So here's that rod we showed you. We showed you they was building it the other day. Um, I've released it, but now they got they got it going. You spin and you go across the track. And it looks pretty big. I might be able to ride that. 
whenever they get it fully fixed, but that's pretty awesome. There is a little train passing by, so I just shot guns and then a train going by. It feels like I'm at Tweetsie. <laughs> it's crazy. There's a nice little fountain here. Every time I go to do the camera, I hit the camera and I go far in because I'm like, all right, that's where I want the camera. But then it zooms in on me, but you see the fountain right there? That's cool, mom. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool right there. I got my Team Jesus shirt on. Had a couple people say something about it. I said, that's cool. It's good. I just got it because uh, we stayed an extra night. And then, uh, so I got the shirt. But uh, at Walmart, so I could wear it since we stayed in another night. But uh, I'm glad we did. I got to see uh, NTL Vlogs. Uh, it was just randomly. He was going in the Walgreens. Um, but that was on another video if you've seen me release it. But uh, it seems like every time I do a vlog, I mention Walgreens. But it turns out that Walgreens was the the spot you know because uh i got to see him there so that was pretty cool but yeah that's pretty awesome but yeah i got this shirt we did bbs last week and uh we had team jesus and stuff like that i want a little thing uh that you scream in uh so we have bbs so that's cool if you ever done bbs but yeah so evidently beside well beside that place the um they got stuff selling at like a mall now, like little merchandise and shirts. But there's that brewing company right beside Moonshine, Old Smoky Moonshine. They might give them a run for their beer money. Or, I mean, you got beer than Moonshine, so but I don't drink or do none of that. I'm 18, guys. Calm down. Huh. Not today, Satan. There's a real duck. Then there is a fake duck. Then there is this duck. <laughs> Donald Duck, get it? My, my middle name's Donald, if you didn't know. That's why I'm called JDB on three, Joshua Donald Belton. Born on the 13th. A lot of people ask me that question. The fountain's coming on, I'll show you. Came here the first day, and that's what I got. I'm right under the speaker, sorry guys. But I got that on my uh, first vlog was uh, the fountain. I'll just show you guys a little bit of it. We are in, gonna enter into the sweet shop. I think they have one in Gatlinburg. I think it might be kind of new, but we're gonna see some sweets. Definitely smells good in here. Mm -hmm. Play some Willy Wonka and then go in here and feel like you're at Willy Wonka. Do not ever play this. Yeah, we played this in chorus. Oh, that's a minion one. That's pretty cool. Played this in chorus and I got the dog meat or dog food one. At first it tasted like a moldy Slim Jim and then it just got worse. It was very terrible. Y'all saw the biggest beer can I've ever saw, but this is the biggest gumball machine I think I've ever saw. <laughs> it's pretty big. It's about my height. Hold on, I might be taller. I'm going to see. Hold on. Alright, we're going to see who's taller. Here, Think it's got me. It's about over six foot because I'm six foot something. That's a big gumball machine. It beat me out in height. Don't want to go to the Parrot Mountain, just go to the one at the island. I would take you in there, but I don't think you can record the birds. There you go. There's the Pepper Palace. Look up there at the Pepper Palace. If you have been here, it's pretty cool. I want to get in this car truck. So yeah, I, I got in some toy fire um, truck before and uh, I said um, it's a fire hazard, watch out, my new mixtape is dropping or something because I had a song like that a long time back kidding around. I have to show that in this video, but that's pretty cool. So it's the Emory 510 store. They're selling the Moon Pie shirt. 
And they're not the Moon Pie store. It says 510, that's not 59. Dolly Parton wouldn't approve. <laughs> there is Iron Man himself. So it's like it's like Beetlejuice, except it's worse. You have to pay money. If you squawk the chicken more than three times, you buy it. So should I squawk it two times and not three times? Or would I know if some kid comes up behind me and squawks it? Should we do it once to be safe? I'm running out of there. <laughs> all right, I did it once. It's all right. I'm not going to squawk it three times. I did it at that Corky's though, man. If they would have got me at Corky's, if y'all saw that video, I did it about 50 times. No, I don't know. <laughs> Look at all these stickers. These are some nice stickers. I wish y'all would have got to see me behind the footage where I took off running. It was funny. My fat butt running. This is like the biggest hat I've ever seen. It fits my body. It's big. It's like a big cowboy. You think I get noticed in this? I'll tip the hat and the whole thing comes over me. You get a shade out of this. That's a whole tree. Oh my God. We'll stick to the ones that they had at Comedy Bar where they take off the hats and stuff. It's been a while. They might still do it. That's awesome. Here's the Kryptonite store. I bought, I don't, I can't remember. I did a video, but I don't know if I released it, but I bought a pop figure. It was either Shrek or a donkey and I unboxed it from here. And then that's just when they had buckboard back there. I don't have it no more though. There's an unmasked Deadpool. Five pops, you get one free. Huh. I got him from round one. And I about killed him. Bunch of shirts. <laughs> Chip and Dale. <laughs> Pizza the Hut. I mean Jabba the Hut. <laughs> There's a Slimer. Wait till you get to his, hold on. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> There's Batman. Doc's Magic Shop. And if you look closely right here, is the creepiest bunny I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, that's scary. You know what? You know what's not magic about this? Is that's never gonna disappear from my mind. You know that? It says be prepared to be dazzled, but it should say be prepared to be terrified by that bunny. Oh my gosh. All right, that's scary. There's some parrots over here. Oh, sorry. Parrots. Huh. It's cool. And there's the train again. That's, that's cool, those parrots. So they're, they're everywhere. We see them in the cage up here, on there. And they just won't fly away. That's awesome. And then they're at Bear Mountain, too. So that's pretty awesome. There's goats on the roof. Uh, baby goats live. I might have showed the video. There's another chocolate monkey there. We went and got the monkey butter the other day, but uh, I might I might have released that video. But I had one time I went in there uh, and snapped some uh, pictures. They had some goats there. That's pretty awesome. So can you see that there? There's a sign. Hit a bump. Creative theater right there. Up that area. Well, there's a bunch of trees, but. It says create a theater, so I don't know what's gonna be there, but that's something new. There's a, I don't know if you can see it, man, we just passed the construction, but there was this glass room that's kind of like Best Western had a glass, I mean a pool inside, but it was a glass room. Right there it is, but it's like this glass room has a pool in it. It's pretty neat. So we came to Quaker Steak Blue and there was a whole car dangling from the ceiling. <laughs> I got wings and cheese fries and some fried pickle spears, which I personally think the fried pickle spears are way better than the dill little um, coin shaped ones. 
I think the spears are better. And you, I went, we went to Corky's yesterday, and that you might have seen that on that one video. But you get free uh, fried pickles, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, and they're the spears too. Look, they have another card. That one was upside down. And now this one's just sitting over there. It's nice. And then they got a hog over there just twirling. They put that arcade in there now. It's little, not much games. But they used to have a big arcade in the back when you'd walk in. There's the M&M &M up there in the car. So if you look here, it's like a gas pump as the door handle. Huh. We had buckets of fun. Uh, it's, my belly's hurting. It's a Quaker steak and Lou. I want to get in here. That is where we just ate Quaker Steak and Lube. It's weird, they changed the arcade, but that's all right. Went to the bathroom and there was a bunch of just pictures of these half-dressed girls in like uh, skanky outfits. So that was kind of weird and bad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so wouldn't want to take your kids in there. <laughs> There's the trolley. So there's a place right there says welcome to the farm they're building it just now um over here near tanger across the street from tanger outlets which um but i don't know what it is but they're just now building that so i wonder if it's gonna be like another farmhouse restaurant over here because they got applewood farmhouse about two of them which we ate that this morning and then um they also have the uh mama's farmhouse I need to try it out but i haven't yet and since I always mention Walgreens in a vlog, there it is. There's the Walgreens where we uh, saw NTL vlogs. We saw him right there. So that was awesome. And now we're going back over towards where we started today at Applewood Farmhouse. Um, but we're not going to the farmhouse this time. We're going to go to the barn, the Apple Barn. You thought I was gonna say the comedy barn. If you thought I said I was gonna say the comedy barn, then you might not know your Tennessee strip too well. <laughs> Pretty river over there. You can see it. The first vlog I got here on this vacation, I got to see that one uh, creek near uh, the island. I walked over towards it, so that's pretty awesome. But here we are uh, stopping at the apple barn. Apple pies. Yeah, what was it? There's a guy at our church told us to try something. What was it he tried, told us to try? <laughs> Gary, what did he say to try? I don't know. He said he didn't get the apple, the apple pie. He might have said fritters, but I don't see him here. We ate that this morning, so I don't. He tried something though, but it's a bunch of variety there it is there's the cup ain't it the apple freeze you can even play checkers with yourself there's the apple pie ice cream and the freeze well it's kind of liquidy but it's a freeze i think i just splashed myself and my, <laughs> my buddy uh on YouTube, Aaron Freeze needs to come here and try a freeze out <laughs> since it's in his name. <laughs> Aaron Freeze trying to freeze, that'd be funny. <laughs> Down this way is the creamery and then the ice cream shop and then there's the candy factory. So we went to that sweet candy shop earlier and now there is a uh, the apple butter kitchen and then there's the candy shop all of that down here there's the restrooms too candy apple and chocolate factory not willy wonka's chocolate factory but it'll do
taffy. I like the strawberry taffy, the vanilla taffy, and peanut butter is all right. right. Yeah, it's pretty much my kind. Let's get a grab bag, eight bucks per pack. There's candy apples. I didn't get one at Chocolate Monkey, but I thought about it. But we got fudge there instead of the apple. So I went in there and got some taffy. Let's see what we got. There is strawberry. Is what I got. I don't know how many I got of that. But peanut butter. Or that might be vanilla. I'm not really sure. I think it's peanut butter. I'll go with that and then that'll be vanilla <laughs> they look the same <laughs> but that is the cons and we'll be going to books a million next which i've never been i've heard about it but i seen one when we was at quaker steak and lube and i want to i called and they actually have the believe it nick Foles book i was talking about so i'm gonna go get it there is the better view of the river it's pretty you hear the soothing sounds of the air condition and my voice at least you don't hear go-karts this time. I mean, they're not bad hearing them, but it's very pretty. You can have a picnic right there. I wonder what Orvis is. I know that I hear that with Apple Barn, but I wonder if it's an eating restaurant or what. I'm not really sure. According to Mom, it's a clothes store or something. They must have stopped there. I'm never, I don't think I've ever stopped there. There is Walgreens. <laughs> That's where mom got her, well, it might have been at the other Walgreens, but she called in her uh, medicine because she didn't bring enough, and then we stayed an extra night, and uh, I got my, which was awesome that we stayed another night because I got the, you know, always love Tennessee. I got to play in the arcades more, uh, and I got to see NTL vlogs. But, um, yeah, but I got a new shirt, and it's uh, the one I showed you earlier. I might have showed you, but... Uh, I've got some compliments on it, so that's good, but it says Team Jesus, and uh, you know, a lot of people come up to me and say, I'm part of that team too, so that's that's awesome, you know, to hear that. It's a good witness tool is what I told somebody, that you can just wear a shirt, you know, and uh, it don't mean that you're saved, you know, just by wearing a shirt, but you can wear a shirt and uh, use it as a witness tool for people. But uh, yeah, but she got her medicine for another night because she didn't bring enough medicine, but today's the day we're going home. But right now we're going to go to Books A Million, which I've been to Barnes & Nobles, but never been to a Books A Million. I wonder if they have a million books there. The sprinkler for us, group. Ha ha. Good job. And right up ahead is the Rainforest Zoo. Dude, Zoom, the Rainforest Zumba Foo is what it should be called. I got a bunch of lemurs in there when I went with the chorus, and it was crazy. They had some monkeys and stuff. It was pretty awesome. I'm not sure if the dragon ever comes out. <laughs> <coughs> ah! I just made myself laugh. I about choked on this taffy, but there's the volcano over there. I just. I don't think he ever does though, but anyways, oh my gosh, this taffy, I don't know if you can see it, it's stuck to my flesh. Like honestly, when I rip it off my flesh, I think it's ripping skin. There's where we ate. <laughs> huh. We're going to books a million, but we're only looking for one book out of the million. Crossing a bridge and there's another river. NASCAR speed. Not the speed part, but it's the abandoned, I guess it was a store at one point. It's closed down now though. Governor's Crossing. Back where Quaker Steak and Lube was, used to be a place called Gaddy's Pizza. And it was an arcade and pizza. As if Tennessee did not have enough pizza places as it is. But, might be why they closed down. Here we are. Books a million and Joe's Coffee. I guess it's called Joe's Coffee because a cup of Joe, but that could just be me. Evidently somebody lost a deluxe storage service bag. Badge, I mean, I said bag. Hold on. Let me get in. 
uh, sorry guys, I was getting in. Well, I went to Books A Million. I looked around. They had some pop figures, so it was pretty cool. They asked me if I wanted a deluxe card, but it was $25, so I, I don't have one really near me, I don't think. But before I show you what I got in there, I'm going to show you what I got in Gatlinburg in a sports store. It's a big pennant, and it says Super Bowl Champions 2 4 18. That's the date of the Super Bowl. So I got that for 7 bucks, And, uh... It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go in my room with my other stuff like my pop figures and my fantasy banners. I also got me a sticker. It says the same thing, Super Bowl Champions and the date and the Eagles. And then a coaster that has the Super Bowl right there and then Super Bowl Champions, Eagles. And then I got this bag because I've been carrying around like my GoPro and all my stuff. So I got me a gym bag. And these were expensive at uh, Big Top. They didn't have this, but they had Tennessee ones. But they were pretty expensive on tickets. But here I got me a good price Super Bowl Champions Eagles gym bag. So that is pretty awesome. That is very awesome. Now, on to what I got. It just came out when I was on vacation. I seen it on Nick Foles' Twitter. I didn't even know what it was. I was like, oh crap, Nick Foles has a book out. I mentioned it before. And I looked at Moon Pie General Store. They didn't have it. I seen the books a million. I called them. And they have it. They had it. Well, they have more. But I got it. Nick Foles, believe it. This is his journey of success, failure, and overcoming the odds. This is pretty awesome. It's a hardback cover. Um, if you don't read, you got to read, man. I read some. It's hard for me to get into it. But I'll, I'll read a whole day. That was Danger Zone playing, sorry, that was a ringtone. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is awesome. Uh, the story about Nick Foles, and uh, I think it's going to talk about how he stepped in, you know, won him the Super Bowl, and uh, about his, you know, his life story and what happened and his faith. So that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, that is amazing. I'm going to read it. I got some other books like that. I got Lecrae's Unashamed book, and uh, I've been reading, you know, mostly I just read the Bible, but... Uh, I believe, I mean, uh, I got other books that I've been reading on, but that's pretty awesome. I'll read it, and I'll start maybe doing reviews on books and CDs, but that is pretty awesome. So, uh, you got to see me do a lot of stuff today. Um, you've seen me on this vacation and on this, uh, this, uh, today. You got, I got to meet NTL Vlogs. Uh, you saw that. Um, I got to do all kinds of stuff. So, I arcade, and I did all kinds of stuff on this vacation, and, uh, this is my last vlog for this vacation, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So you better subscribe and you better believe it that I'll be coming out with more videos. <laughs> Get it, pun? Yeah. Mm. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all later. Hold on. Oh, the cart. All right, there we go. You see that big monkey over there? That is my brother. His name is Naked Gorilla 07. Woo!